So November 8th, um, four o'clock, a little after four in the afternoon, Tuesday, November 8th, hope you voted. Um, yeah, we're, we came up here to refill some of these feeders, at least see what was going on because uh, it's warm enough to excite them to take flight in the next two days, try and do some useless missions, trying to get some resources, maybe some pollen, maybe that part's not useless, but all that means is they're, they're burning energy. And if they're burning energy, they're burning your winter stores. They're gonna come back hungry if they come back empty handed. So I like to be sure they don't come back empty handed. And uh, the community feeder was half consumed. So I believe that's a gallon and a half feeder. So in three days, it took down three quarters of a gallon, which if they're going out, at least they're coming back with more than the energy that they burnt and not again, uh, eating those winter reserves. So just be careful. We're having some nice days in Michigan the next two days. And I'm concerned that they will go out and burn energy and come back and eat my reserves for the winter. And I don't want that, obviously. I built these up for a reason. So I'm not up here feeding. I guess maybe I didn't make that clear before. I'm not up here feeding to build my winter reserves. I'm up here feeding to not deplete my winter reserves. It's going to be in the 60s the next two days. And I guarantee that some of these remaining foragers who haven't quite uh, lived out the rest of their life are going to try and go out and do their job. Go, try and go out and get resources and they could back, come back empty handed. I won't uh, walk over there, but I'll splice it in the community feeder. All they gotta do is fly right out this front door like I showed you before and 30, 40 yards away. There's just a small community feeder. I, I don't have never contributed to any robbing problems or seen any robbing problems, but I use it sparingly. But if they fly out and they know that that's been there for the last couple of days, that's, that's where they're gonna go directly to. And that's great because they'll get um, some reserves to come back and it's it's good feed. It's It's got my supplements in it, the Hive Alive, and it's a good ratio um, of two to one too. So they're not, it's not gonna increase the humidity in the hive. That's another thing you had to keep in mind. If you're running too thin a syrup and it still needs to be dried, then that hive going into winter that already has a humidity problem without having that um, very thin syrup in there and water that still needs to be evaporated. Now you're introducing more moisture to go into the winter months. So you really need to be feeding the right ratio of sugar, which is two to one in my opinion. But anyways, as far as the top feeders, they're all done. Um, four, two from the left there. They, uh, they needed more, uh, two from the right over here, five, they needed more. The other ones, everybody has been consuming um, but not a, a tremendous amount. But again, if if they're going out and uh, wasting their energy, I want them to at least have it available to them. And they're, they're taking it in. So, hey, if I'm wrong and they're not going out and wasting their energy because they're hitting my community feeder or they're finding something in the environment, I doubt there's any nectar. But if they're finding something in the environment as far as pollen, then great. Um, any feed they're taking from the top is just going to go into reserves but this is about to end real real quick um, quilt boxes are ready to come out i'm just going to do a video on how i do the quilt boxes on a hive at my house with no bees in it and um, not film coming here because i do wrap them in tar paper as well so i'll show that after but so anyways i'm going to splice in and uh show you the community feeder and then we'll come back and uh, I hope everything's well with you and your bees are doing good and you enjoy these couple nice days we're gonna have. So we'll be right back. About four o'clock in the afternoon and the girls are still working on this, on the sunshine side more where the sun comes in, but they're there. They're still feeding. This was uh, full three days ago. So they're not taking a ton. but they're taking some and they're um, replacing what they're using on these useless foraging missions. You know, they go out, they burn energy. If they don't come back with anything, they're just consuming your winter reserves. So you've got to be careful with these summer again events. It's crazy. It's going to be nice the next two days. I'm making sure there's feed up here. 
Here's that uh, sugar stump where all the granulated sugar got scraped onto. And, you know, there's always a possibility that it was other rodents or deer or anything that could have come over here and licked this. But as you can see, I forgot a screw on there. You think that would be knocked off. You think all those dead bees would be knocked off. So my, uh, I believe that the girls have been over here eating the granulated sugar real well. Got some moisture in it from a rain or whatever, but it doesn't look like it's washed away or going down the sides of the stump or anything. So they're foraging. They're still out there trying. And I'm just kind of trying to provide it for them. So that's my two feeding stations, uh, one deliberate and one not deliberate, but both uh, seem to have activity the last two days and we're not even talking that we were breaking 60s. Um, they're still flying in the 50s. Today wasn't even all that great. This one's just one coming out, one confused, real, real quiet. There was some activity earlier, but now the sun's going down and they definitely can close the doors quick. But this is always a cool time to come and look, especially if you got a flashlight, which I don't have, but you can see in there, there's a row of girls doing their work and that's fanning, so. They're working. That's interesting. I don't like that fly right there. But it ain't getting that far. And there's one fanning in there. So yeah. Flashlight's a lot better. You come here in the winter and you'll see them hanging from the bottom of the frames, but they're still active. cool views and I'm not concerned about the populations everything's checked out with them weights check out but again I know I'm repeating myself I am just trying to not deplete the winter reserves that I work so hard to build up with these events of sunshine I mean we're talking it's almost five o'clock in the afternoon and we got sunshine beating on these hives tempting these girls to go out and they have been going out the last couple of days, so keep an eye on them. Keep tilting them, uh, and don't don't let them be eating on their winter reserves now. Thanks for watching.